Hi guys and welcome to another IBM ODM technical tutorial. In this edition we're going to look at a, a new experimental technology produced by IBM which is called Decision Composer. So the notion behind Decision Composer is to allow yet another mechanism for business users to be able to offer rules. So uh, hopefully you're familiar to some degree with ODM and you understand the concept of decision tables and you understand the concept of rules expressed in the business action language, BAL. Well, there's another player in town now and that's called the DMN or the Decision Modeling and Notation Technology. And basically it is a OMG standard which allows us to draw diagrams which describe the rules. So Decision Composer is an experimental service from IBM. So what, what, what does that mean? Experimental means that IBM is making it available. It's in a form right now where it's functional, but uh, it may change in the future. So nothing you build on it now should be uh, used either in production, nor should it be assumed to be in the same form in the weeks, months, and years to come. Uh, so that's, that's the caveats out of the way, if you like. Now, uh, Decision Composer is currently a Bluemix uh, on the cloud based service. So what that means is there's nothing to install in your ODM environment, nothing at all, and all one needs to, in order to use this is a free or paid for Bluemix account. So once you have a Bluemix account you can then sign into Bluemix and start composing decisions. So the Decision Composer technology allows us to model diagrams in a, in a modeling format and uh, then make them executable. So in this tutorial, I'm not, I'm not going to do a soup to nuts on all the features of Decision Composer. I'm going to show you enough to get you uh, started with it. So if we log into our Bluemix account, I'm logged in here, and then uh, we bring up our, our dashboard and look at our, the available services that are available to us, then what we can do is we can scroll down through the services. I have lost it. There we are. Catalog. Let's look at the services that are available to us. And in this list of services that Bluemix makes available, one of the categories is called application services. And in application services, we have the capability to create business rules. Now, this has been here for a while. This is not the primary subject of this video. But let's go ahead and create ourselves a business rules service. We click on it, it whirs and it thinks for a moment, and then it's about to create as a service, unimaginatively called this, and we're ready to go. So I can hit the create button, and it's now creating us a rule execution server. That's the ODM runtime, which executes rules that we might offer. So once we've created our uh, rule execution server service, the new thing that I want to show you is this concept called the Decision Composer. Experimental. Now, if we click on this, this brings us up into our Decision Composer editor. So, in Decision Composer, we get to draw DMN diagrams, Decision Modeling and Notation diagrams. So, we create ourselves a new project, and we'll call this one Discount. So, the notion here is that I'm going to create a simple process where that uh, process, uh, not process, that simple rule where the rule will calculate a discount based on an order. So we hit the finish button and we're already into our diagramming editing. Now it gives us a sample diagram, hello world, and one of the things that I immediately do is I delete it. So I select the items, select the items and delete it. And now we have an empty diagramming canvas. Let me make this full screen. And I'm going to put on a data node. Now, what well, rather, a decision node. And the decision I want to create is I want this decision to calculate my discount and the output will be a floating point number. So this is where I'm going to make a decision on how much of a discount to offer based upon the purchase request by my customer. So I've created discount. Now discount needs some input. So I can drag a new node and it's going to be an input data. 
And this one is going to be the type of widget which my customer is buying. And we'll keep it simple and we'll say it's a string. Done. Now let's come here, let's add another node. And this is going to be another data, uh, data type. And this one is going to be the quantity. How many units is the customer buying? And this one is going to be an integer value. So what I've drawn here is a description of a rule. The rule is a square box, and that's the DMN notation to say that's a decision. And the rounded boxes here describe the input data into that decision. So now let's offer the discount rule. It's going to take a type and a quantity as input, and it's going to return the amount of discount to be applied. So I select that activity, I hit the edit button, and now I am rule offering. Oh, that's cool. So it gives me a template here to fill in. Now that's if I'm using the BAL language, but I want to use a decision table. So I'll create a decision table, and I'll say if the type of my widget is red, and the quantity is 10 or more, so I'll change the operator to be greater than or equal to, then offer a discount of 10%. Great. And if we're selling blue widgets, and I don't have many, I have as many of those in stock. So we'll say if we're ordering 20 or more of those, change the operator to be greater than or equal to, and offer a 20% discount. And that's it. That's as simple as it is to create a simple rule. So let me change the name of this rule. Let me call it uh, discount table. Great. And I don't need this rule. We're not using BAL rules. And this will set the discount values. If it's a red widget of 10 or more, offer a 10% discount. If it's blue, 20 or more, offer a 20% discount. And we need one final thing, which is a default value. And the default value says, what should the uh, discount be if none of the rules match? So I'll set the discount to be zero. And that's it. Simple as that. What did that take? About 30 seconds, 40 seconds, me talking through it. So we've got a type as input, a quantity as input, a discount rule, and the discount rule, just to see it again, looks like this. I've got a table, I've got default value, and we are good to go. So I can now test this rule. I can hit the run button up here and it's given me the inputs for type and quantity. So let's say red and I want to order five of them. Hit the run button, wars and clicks, thinks about it for a second, and the discount is zero. Now let's say I want to order, uh, what do we see, 15 of these, run it, and the discount becomes 10%. Wonderful. Change it to be a blue widget, a blue widget, run it again, and 15 is too low for the threshold, so we should get a zero, but change it to be uh, 34, run it again, and now we should get a 20% discount, and we do. And for green widgets, just a final check, change this to be green widgets, green widgets, and run it again. And since we don't have any special rules for green widgets, the discount will also be zero. Wow, now that was quick. That is all that it takes to build out a simple rule. Now, I can embellish my rules, I can get richer and richer, I can have rules depending on other rules, and all kinds of other good things. So I've built my rule here, now maybe I want to deploy it so that it actually runs somewhere. So I can go back to my, my home page, here is my discount rule, and I can say that I want to deploy this. Now in order to deploy it, I've got to specify where am I deploying it to. So since I'm on the cloud here, I've got my Bluemix rule execution server on the cloud. Take the URL for my Bluemix rule execution server and go to deploy and put in the URL of my Bluemix rule execution server. And set the password. The, oh, the user ID is red ad, res admin. The password is this user is this password value here. Plug it in. Control V for a paste, hit the deploy button, it wars and it clicks for a moment, and now I've deployed it into production or development on my Bluemix rule execution server hosted on the cloud. So I can go back to my uh, environment, I can open up my Bluemix uh, rule execution server, 
I can specify my environment. I can log in. Whoop. Let's give it the right password. Try sign in. It works and it clicks for a moment. And now I'm logged in to my rule execution server on Bluemix on the cloud. I can explore the services that are out there. And if we look in here, here is the service at 227 that I exported a moment ago or deployed a moment ago. So I can drill down into my rule, select my rule. It works and it clicks while it thinks about it. Bring out the uh, 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 the definitions to be able to contact it. I'll call it via REST and we will use JSON API and I can download my uh, open API definition or I can literally test it here. And it wars and it clicks for a few moments as it parses my rule execution set to build the test data that it's going to run. This takes a few seconds the first time that I run this up. And we've got some entries in here that I don't need. So let's delete these ones. So now I want to order, let's say, 20 widgets, which are red. Execute the request. And if we scroll down here, we get a discount of 10%. Excellent absolutely excellent and this is now long this is now a standard odm runtime execution service now it gets even better than this i can go back to my decision composer and i can say i want to download my offered project so this is the project that we offered on the web here using this uh, uh, visual dmn diagramming st uh, style i can download this and it will download me a file now, should I want to, I can now go to my uh, standard ODM environment, my rule designer. I can say I want to import a existing project into the workspace. I can go and browse for my uh, downloaded file. Here's the file that I just downloaded a few seconds ago. I can open it. And apparently I can't open it because I've already got a project called discount. So hold on a second. Let me... Let me remove my project called discount. That's what happens when you test it and you don't delete it first. So let me delete my project called discount. There we go. Now I don't have a project called discount. Let's try this again. Let's do a file import existing projects into the workspace, browse, select all the files, select my discount project, select open. Here's my discount project hit the finish button and now it's imported into my ODM environment all the artifacts that we would have normally created from uh, an ODM uh, rule designer or a decision center. But as we see, uh, there is uh, a lot to be said about creating it visually this way. For technical users this is probably probably not the way that you're going to create business rules uh, you're going to use a rule designer and you're going to use the decision center but for business only savvy users who don't want to install anything and who, who want to see the minimum of um, uh, of uh, verbosity this is a very very easy way to describe your rules and you can keep on adding more and more rules to get more and more function all right that's what i wanted to show you my friends i hope you found something useful here looking forward to making more of these tutorials in the future thanks now and bye-bye